This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. This video covers configuring the prerequisites in Azure to prepare for a deployment of Parallels DAS. This is the Azure portal. We have already logged on to the subscription. At this point, no resource groups start with Parallels. And when switching to the App Registration section of Entra ID, there are no app registrations that start with Parallels. This is our starting point. Now switch to a PowerShell window and start the Parallels DAS prerequisites configuration script. The script will import any required modules in case these are not imported yet. Now log on with your administrative credentials. Make sure this account has owner permissions on the subscription and global admin permission in Microsoft Entra ID and make sure MFA for this account is enabled. Once complete, close the browser again. The PowerShell script now shows Azure tenants you might have access to. Depending on your permissions, there could be multiple tenants in this list. Select the tenant you want to use and press Enter. The PowerShell script now shows Azure subscriptions underneath the tenant you selected and have access to. Depending on your permissions, there could be multiple subscriptions in this list. Select the subscription you want to use and press Enter. Now select the location of the Azure region you want to use and press Enter. Parallels DAS requires two resource groups. The script will create them for you. First, provide the name of the resource group where you want to store the Parallels DAS infrastructure components and press Enter. Now, provide the resource group name where you want to store the Parallels DAS virtual machines and press Enter. Next, provide the name of the app registration and press Enter. The script creates the app registration if app registration does not exist yet and adds the required permissions. Optionally, provide the name of an Azure Key Vault to create. We advise you to do so, as this allows storing secure strings like app registration secrets that are required later in the Parallels DAS setup. This was the last step. Within a few seconds, the script will finish. The output of the script consists of the tenant ID, subscription ID, application ID, and resource group names. This information is needed in the next step. If you did not select the option to create an Azure Key Vault, store the client secret shown in the output in a safe place. Switching back to the Azure portal, note that two resource groups have been created. The infrastructure resource group contains the Azure Key Vault, and the virtual machine resource group is currently empty. Furthermore, an app registration now exists, including a client secret. If you selected the option to create an Azure Key Vault, the client secret is safely stored in there as a secret value. Later on, you can copy the client secret to your clipboard from here during the Parallels DAS deployment wizard. Again, store the output of the PowerShell script in a safe place before continuing with that next step. This concludes the video on configuring the prerequisites in Azure to prepare for a deployment of Parallels DAS. For more content, Subscribe to our channel and browse to the TechBytes series.